Well, let's get you this big international story that's coming in after the massive outrage over the Indian origin nurse's death in London. The Australian FM station has come out in defense of its presenters who made the prank call to King Edward's Hospital. The Sydney-based Today FM has defended its RJs saying that they have broken no laws, but the station maintained that the two RJs were shattered to hear about the mysterious death of the nurse. In a damage control exercise, the radio station has, however, suspended both the RJs from work. Meanwhile, all advertising on Today FM has has been suspended indefinitely after the nurse's death, while initially two big brands pulled advertising from Today FM as the fallout from the royal prank call. Yeah, I have spoken with the presenters concerned. They are both deeply shocked and at this time we have agreed that they not comment about the circumstances. I think the more important question here is that we are very confident that we haven't done anything illegal. Um, our main concern at this point in time is what's a tragic uh, what, it, what happened is, is incredibly tragic and we're deeply saddened and, and, and we're incredibly affected by that. Well, the 46-year-old nurse was on reception duty in the hospital when she answered the prank call. She transferred the call to another nurse who unwittingly disclosed the details of Kate Middleton's health to the RJs. The radio jockeys had pretended to be the Queen and Prince Charles. The nurse was reported to be upset after the incident, which many believe might have led to her suicide. It's devastating, you know, it's, uh, it's never supposed to happen, you know, these things you, you think will never happen, it could have happened to anybody, you know, we, we attend many, many phone calls and, uh, you know, if, uh, if, the, if somebody claims to be the queen and phones you, what, I don't know what I should have done or anybody else uh, must have done, you know, you won't have time to think really, I, that's what I think. I think it's a terrible shame, an absolute ca catastrophe that she felt that she had to do something so tragically sad for something that's just a stupid joke played by some Australians. It's just, just so unnecessary. I feel so sorry for her family. And to have to go through that, awful, just awful. Well, in fact, they have come down heavily on the RGs. The chairman of King Edward Hospital has shot off a stinging letter to Today FM. In its letter, the hospital chief has said, and I'm quoting now, it was extremely foolish of your presenters even to consider trying to lie their way through to one of our patients, let alone actually make the call. The immediate consequence of these premeditated and ill-considered actions was the humiliation of two dedicated and caring nurses who are simply doing their job. The longer-term consequence has been reported around the world and is frankly tragic beyond words. Well, in a separate move, Australia's broadcasting regulator says it will be quizzing the owners of Today FM over the incident. The broadcasting regulator says it will be talking to the licensee of the radio station which broadcasts the prank call. The move comes after a massive outcry on social networking sites over the incident. The chairman of the Australian Communications and Media Authority issued a statement on Saturday saying the authority didn't want to make any comments at this stage but will be engaging with the licensee around the facts and issues surrounding the prank call. While the king of the nurse in India are shocked, they have asked New Delhi to intervene and persuade the Australian government to take action against the RJs who played the royal prank. It's a very unfortunate thing that uh, a hospital got a prank call early in the morning and she was the only person to answer the call. It's a very unfortunate thing and she answered the call and I don't know what's the what's the real situation what was the cause of her uh, suicide yeah I personally think that Indian Embassy should uh, uh, focus on this issue and they should try to investigate what's really happened and uh, the Indian Embassy should uh, try to get the real culprits